Hello, welcome to our new episode. This time I would like to tell about our last trip in 2022. There will be no huge mountains, open spaces or majestic views. Today we are riding east to the place that shows how time is running and all is passing. We are taking trip to Old Car Cemetery in Sweden, Bostnus. This place was on our to-do list for a very long time. We delayed coming here to very end because it's not far from our place and during summer we would like to discover places that are far away to not waste a free weekends. South eastern region of country are agriculture area and it can be easily seen if we take a detour from noisy highways. Norway is a country that has not so many citizens and with that comes low population density. That's why traveling on less touristic areas is extremely enjoyable. Even here, far from high mountains, the landscape is undulating, full of hills, lakes and beautiful views. There are many farms, even those where road goes right across in the middle of them. It's kinda weird riding through someone's property when they are sitting and enjoying barbecue. We took this trip at the end of September, on Sunday. Temperatures were not so high, but still enjoyable. We felt that this could be our last chance to get nice weather, so we decided, let's ride. September is a month where day length goes down drastically, and temperature difference between day and night can go up to 20 degrees. Day is shorter than this longest one in the end of June for about 6 hours. That's why we were a little concerned about beginning the ride at 4 pm, but our destination was only 2 hours away from us. We took some food, hot water in thermos, we put our clothes on us and we started our journey. Autumn was all around us. Trees began to change colors to gold and red. On the fields there were only plains after harvesting. We could feel it in the air that cold days are coming. There is something magical in this changing period between autumn and winter. We can see changes, of course, but there is some nostalgic feeling that I can't describe. Along the way we took some detours to see few lakes that seemed interesting. We tried to ride around them with gravel roads that goes along the coastline. When riding on such roads you can be prepared to see no riding sign or blocked road. This happened to our case. We needed to turn around and decided that it's becoming too late to take detours. While riding along the lake, we could observe how golden sun rays are shining through trees and illuminate the water. That's where I came up to feeling how much I'm gonna miss this view during the long Norwegian winter. few hundred meters from border with Sweden, we saw many signs telling us about cameras and controlling the road. When I was planning the route, I didn't know that navigation will take us on a border crossing that looks like a normal forest road. That's why we were concerned about law restrictions, but in the same time we didn't see any passing prohibition, so we rode through the border. From that place we had just a few kilometers to the graveyard. We managed to get there while sun was still shining and we could eat instant soup and we had enough time to go around the old cars that lay everywhere. They were covered in moss, some had trees growing from it. They were stuck one on another. Ripped doors, masks, tires, windows were lying everywhere. Some of the cars are so taken by nature that we could only recognize the shape under the moss and trees. In the past someone used them to ride to work, to take family on a vacation, to take a girl on a date. Today they are a memorial of passing years and old times. In the presence we often forget about enjoying a moment, focusing on what's important. I think it's good that we still have places like this one. We can get ourselves in pensive and look on everything around us from a different perspective. And you? Would you have same thoughts while being here? Thank you for watching. Please write in the comments what you think about the video and leave a like. Have a great day. Greetings, Peter.